Hey everybody, this is Shay Walker from All Garage Floors and today we're going to talk about garage floor paint, epoxy paint, and epoxy coatings. It is extremely important to know what these differences are. In fact, one of the number one mistakes that people make before they put anything down on their garage floor is they unknowingly purchase and apply the wrong product. So this is a video you can't afford to miss. In fact, this is the first in a series of upcoming videos that are going to educate the consumer on the various garage floor coatings, coating systems, so you can decide what is best for you. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there, and let's get started. Okay, so our goal here is to make sure that you understand the difference between garage floor paint, epoxy paint, and epoxy coating so that when you decide to purchase something, you know exactly what it is that you're getting. We get so many questions and comments on our website from people who don't know what to do once they've applied a product that they realize isn't what they thought it was. Okay, and this happens all the time and a lot of this has to do with the confusing and sometimes misleading terminology that the large manufacturers of these products use in order to get you to buy their product. Epoxy paint is one of the first that we want to talk about. When we say epoxy paint, what do you think we mean? Is it a paint? Is it a coating? Is it epoxy? What is it? Well, the thing is, is it can be any one of those, all right? It's just a generic term that doesn't have any specific meaning. And this has come about from the manufacturers who target the DIY garage floor paint and garage floor coating market. And these are the type of products that you typically find in your home improvement centers, hardware stores, uh, Amazon, places like that. They're the most popular and the most well-known because of all the money spent marketing these particular type of products. Now, the first thing that we want to state here is that paint is not a coating. All right, you got that? Paint is not a coating, nor will it seal your concrete. That's another mistake people think that if they put paint down on their concrete, it's gonna seal it. Paint consists of four main ingredients. Those ingredients are binders, pigments, additives, and a carrier agent. Now the carrier agent in paint is typically water, and that's what the first three ingredients are suspended in. The pigments obviously provide the color. The binder is what's important. Uh, garage floor paint is typically a modified latex acrylic binder and what the binder does is when you put the paint down on the floor and all the water begins to evaporate out, it forms a thin film on top of the surface and the binder is what provides the support and performance for all those pigments that have been deposited into the concrete. It also provides the adhesion, the glue-like substance or texture to it that allows it to adhere to the concrete. Additives may be surfactants that will keep the pigments from separating thickening agents to make it easier to apply. There may be some biocides to fight mold and mildew, things like that. Now paint is a low solids product, on average 29 to 33% solids. What that means to you is that once you apply it and it evaporates out, you're gonna have approximately one mil thickness of paint on the surface. Now as a reference, a sheet of paper is approximately three mils. So one coat of paint will be one third the thickness of a sheet of paper. Now, as we stated, paint will not seal the concrete. Paint will peel from hot tires, okay? Period. I wanna, I wanna make sure you understand that. It's gonna happen. There's people out there who've complained about it saying, we followed all the directions, did everything perfect, and three days after parking our car in the garage, it's peeling paint up off the concrete. It is going to happen. Paint is not very resistant to chemicals uh, such as gasoline, uh, diesel fuel in particular, 
brake fluid and other solvents, if it spills onto the surface, if you don't wipe it up immediately, it will soften the paint. And then when you do wipe it up, it smears and you have a mess on your hands. Paint only comes in a satin finish. It's a water-based product. It's very hard to get anything glossy out of a water-based product. There has to be solvents in order to get a glossy finish. And then uh, let's see. The other thing I want to point out is that paint can stain as well. Uh, and it stains fairly easily uh, from things like oils and such like that. So if uh, you have a car that drips oil on the surface and you don't get to it right away once you do wipe it up you'll have brown stains in the paint all right it's what we call a one and done application you put a couple coats down and that's it now what about something like this this is one part epoxy paint by bear all right has a word epoxy in it so is it a coating no it's not one part epoxy paint is essentially standard garage floor paint that has epoxy ester resin included as an additive in the ingredients, all right? And the amount they include is somewhere around two to 4%. However, what the epoxy does is it fortifies the acrylic binders in the paint so that when the paint film is drying, it will allow those binders to provide more durability to adhesion, uh, add more chemical resistance, and add adhesion. What did I say? Durability to adhesion? Durability to the paint surface. And then it will provide more adhesion to the concrete. Now, that difference is not substantial. That's something we want to point out. But there is a difference. And it's worth the extra cost. Uh, epoxy paint is only, or one part epoxy paint, is only 5 to $15 more per gallon than standard garage floor paint. So it is the better value, all right? Um, it says right here, resist hot tire pickup. It's going to peel from hot tires, all right? I wanna tell you that. Anybody can put that on their paint product. There's nothing in the industry that requires you to show that this meets a certain set of standards and such to resist hot tire pickup. It is going to peel up from hot tires. Now, paint, depending on the brand you're going to put down, may require you to etch the surface. Some don't. Some may say we suggest using a concrete latex uh, primer to put down first. Some don't. Some are self-priming. This one here by Bear uh, says self-priming for improved adhesion. All right. That's great. They're all still going to peel from hot tires. I just want to make sure you understand this before you decide to go with paint. Now, the advantage to paint and one part epoxy paint in particular is that it is cheap. It is the cheapest flooring option you can put down on your garage floor to completely change the way it looks. Standard garage floor paint usually lasts about six months or so before you're touching everything up or repainting the whole thing. Epoxy paint here will be approximately uh, a year, maybe a year and a half. Um, some might go two years, but that's it. You cannot apply a clear coat to paint. That is probably the biggest question that we get. Hey, I put this down. It's not very shiny. I don't want like the way it looks. What kind of clear coat can I put on it? Or I put this down to seal my concrete and now I realize it doesn't do that. What can I put down? It's not designed for that. It's what we call a one and done product. Now, some paints will say, like Bear, for example, they'll say, hey, if you want a shiny finish, put down our Bear wet look, wet look sealer, okay? And you can, you can apply it right down to the surface with no other application. The problem is, is that it's a water-based acrylic and some of these water-based acrylics are less resistant and less durable than the actual paint itself. And when you're driving vehicles in and out, it's going to peel that stuff up. Solvents are going to smear it on top of the paint. It's a mess. If you don't park cars in the garage or you're going to put garage floor mats down where the cars park, then you can get away with it. It also works fairly well for garages that don't have cars. You want an inexpensive uh, solution. You can do something like that. Now, there is a way to get around it. And we have an article down below with the link 
on how you can apply an actual clear coat to paint. We don't recommend it though, because a clear coat for paint is gonna be three times the cost of paint. It's much more superior, but you're still applying the paint to an inferior surface, okay? Or I should say you're applying the coating to paint, which is an inferior surface, and it's still gonna peel up from hot tires. So now you've invested all this money that you're still gonna get hot tire peel up, okay? So we just wanna point that out. So that is the difference between garage floor paint and one part epoxy paint. So let's talk about epoxy coatings. What is an epoxy coating? Well, an epoxy coating is an actual two component product. It's a thermal setting polymer. And that consists of one part epoxy resin and the other part is a catalyst, otherwise known as a hardener. Now, when you mix the two of them together, this creates what we call an exothermic or heat generating reaction. It's an actual chemical process. The epoxy builds heat. And unlike paint that dries once you apply it, when you put epoxy down on the surface, it chemically cures, all right? And when it cures, what it's doing is all those epoxy ester ingredients start binding together extremely tight to form a very hard, I mean hard, and durable surface. There is a night and day difference between one part epoxy paint here and, and an actual epoxy coating. Huge difference. Epoxy seals the concrete. Depending on the quality, it can be highly chemical and stain resistant. It is also much thicker than standard paint. This particular product right here is uh, Rust-Oleum Epoxy Shield. It's very well known. It's one of the least expensive epoxies that you can purchase. The average thic thickness is three to three and a half mils, okay? So you're almost three times thicker than one coat of paint already. So you can see the difference right there. Plus it's a very hard surface. Now, something else that's unique about epoxy is it forms an extremely strong bond to the concrete. All concrete needs to be etched at a minimum before it is applied, before you apply uh, epoxy to it, all right? Particularly brand new concrete it needs to be etched. The, the process it goes through for the finishing and the troweling tends to close off a lot of the pores. Epoxy is a much more viscous and thicker product than paint is. And so the etching opens up the pores, roughens up what we call the profile at the surface. So when you apply the epoxy, it has the ability to penetrate the surface somewhat and grab all these individual pores and such to achieve an extremely strong bond. In fact, some of your high quality epoxy can achieve a bond so well that if it was attempted to pull up, it will actually pull up little chunks of concrete with it. So big difference right there. So let's, let's talk about what's in it. So this one here by Epoxy Shield, one of the first things to pop out, this is their citric acid etch that they require you to use on the concrete. It's probably one of the least effective etches that you can use on concrete, but it works fine with this product. It's a, it's a low solids uh, epoxy product. This is safe to, uh, for your plants and grass and the environment and such. Now this is what makes epoxy unique. It's two components. This right here is your epoxy resin component. This right here is your hardener, okay? If you buy a product that you think is epoxy and it doesn't have two components, it's not epoxy, all right? It's probably a one part epoxy paint of some sort. Now, Rust-Oleum is a little bit different. Typically in the industry, the uh, epoxy component, the resin component rather, is part A and the hardener's part B. They do just the opposite doesn't really matter, but we just don't want you to get confused. This is what they call a burst pouch. It's a technology that Rust-Oleum Rust acquired uh, about six or seven years back. When you put this on the floor and you start rolling one end up tight, it causes this center seal to burst and then the two components mix. You shake it all up and then the curing process begins. Now, something you need to be aware of 
is that unlike paint, epoxy only has a limited amount of time in which it can be applied. It can range from 30 minutes to two hours, depending on the product. The lower quality, low solids product, your water-based product like this one here, typically will give you up to two hours. A high solids product or 100% solids product like this one here, you may only have 30 minutes. In fact, this here is by one of our sponsors, Armor Epoxy. This is an example of their 100% solids epoxy. It comes with separate containers that you open up and pour into their mix bucket here when you go to mix it up. So this is an example of a much higher quality product. Now, uh, another example between epoxies, this one by Rust-Oleum is they're water-based, as we said. It's only a satin finish. Now, they'd say it's a satin gloss. It's another example of what we call misleading marketing uh, practices. It, it's not a gloss finish. It may look kind of shiny when you first apply it, but once it cures out and it gets some traffic, it's a satin finish. This is the type of epoxy most people are familiar with or the look they want to achieve, which are a deep, rich-looking color that is extremely glossy. So we have a video coming up that will explain the differences between the all types of epoxy, so you want to stay tuned for that. But this is an example of your quality epoxy products. So we made a big deal about hot tire pickup with garage floor paint, and we did that for a reason because we want to make sure you understood that. With epoxy, you can still have hot tire pickup depending on the type of product that you put down. All right. This product here by Rust-Oleum, number one complaint that people get using this product is that hot tires eventually start pulling up the epoxy. Doesn't happen all the time like paint. There are people who've, who've used this Rust-Oleum product and they haven't had, had the problem, but it is still a problem. It does happen quite a bit. If you add a clear coat to it, that'll definitely help. That's something we're gonna talk about uh, in another video. Uh, but it will happen with this product, all right? This is an example of the lowest quality epoxy that you can apply. This product here, a high solids epoxy, you will not get hot tire pickup, period. If you prep the concrete properly like you should and apply a high solids epoxy, you will not get hot tire pickup, okay? So again, our next video, we are gonna talk about the differences between the variety of epoxy products. So if you decide you wanna go with epoxy, we're gonna teach you how to determine which one is best gonna fit your budget and do what you want it to do, all right? So knowing the differences between garage floor paint, epoxy paint, and epoxy coatings is going to guarantee that you're gonna be much happier with the product that you put down because you're gonna know what to expect. Don't fall for the epoxy marketing name game. Once you understand what these differences are, it's going to lead to a successful and much better outcome, all right? So be sure to pay attention to our videos coming up. Check out the links below that we have. One in particular gets into more detail about what the differences are in these products. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.